Hi. We're back! So today we are talking about our time in Guam. So um, back in San Diego, California, where we were stationed back in 2014, we found out um, back in July of 2014 that we, that the Navy is sending us to this little beautiful island in the Pacific called Guam. And we found out that we're gonna be living there for the next three years. If so. you guys are not aware, usually um, every PCS, if you're not aware, PCS is when the Navy decides that they're going to go ahead and move you elsewhere. It's usually a tour of three years where he goes on the ship and then there's another thing where he goes shore duty. Share to you guys all, all of our great experiences while we live in Guam, um, the island living. An island in the marinas. It's so small, so small. Driving was to one end to the other, north, south, will take you 40 minutes. And to go around the whole island and technically just tour the whole island is actually a two hour trip. So the island is very small, yet there is a big naval base in there where um, you have lots of submarines, ships, um, detachments, and the naval base is located in the southern part of the island and you have the Air Force Base located in the northern part of the island. It's a great island, it's small, uh, if you like the island living, white sand, clear water, um, hot. Red, hot weather, hot. Um, sunny hot. weather, um, sometimes we, you get visited with typhoons, uh, we, as what we, happened to us in, the, in our first year being there in 2015. Dolphin typhoon? Dolphin typhoon. We were yep. in the middle of that. Um, One of the clips where you guys will be seeing where we stayed in the hotel. Part of the reason why because there was there was no power for three days for the whole island in, in the whole island so we decided to stay in the hotel for two nights. It was really hot being inside a house with no AC. So we stayed there and um, we're also gonna show you Chamorro Village which happens every Wednesday. Just the barbecue spot where a bunch of tourists come. Um, we also do get a lot of um, history of the island. The island got colonized back in World War II by Japanese. They actually colonized and they were when the war was going on and then the US came in and took it took it back and because of that there's a lot of Japanese tourists coming to see the island and they say it's their cheaper version of Hawaii. So you see a lot of tourists. Um, Chamorro Village is nothing but tourists there. It's a place to enjoy. Yep. We enjoyed it. There was a time where we were there like every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. No cooking, nothing. We were in Chamorro. And geographically, Island of Guam is about 12 hours away from the mainland if you fly. Um, three hour, Four hours from the Philippines, four hours from Japan, um, four hours from Hawaii. Again, it's tiny, but if you're there to tour it, it's a great place. If you're there to visit it a weekend, a week, you would love it. The food, the ambience, everything's so... Amazing. Yeah. If you will have a chance to visit the island, one of the most um, popular expressions you will hear is half a day. Uh, when we first got there, we thought it was half day, but it, that's, their, that's, the, that's their local language for saying hello. And in this video, you will see all of the nice hidden treasure of the island. I'm talking about hidden waterfalls, hidden um, beautiful um, water, white sand. Although you can see beautiful water surrounding, all surrounding the island, you will see different lagoons that you need to travel to and walk a little bit from the parking spot for you to see um, out of this world experience by nature. Also, if you have military access, you are able to go to Spanish Steps. It is water and you're able to see um, little fishies swimming around. It's it, it's actually a hike. You have to hike down to it. Once you get there, I mean, it is, it is so worth it. We also want to show you how we spend Christmas there, our New Year's, our birthdays, my birthday, her birthday, Angel's birthday. Um, from his co-workers we actually became a family because we were so far away a lot of our family wasn't able to come visit us because of the price it's a high price because Guam is a tiny like nobody flies to Guam unless you get sent there unless you know somebody there so you do pay a price to be there it was such an amazing experience to have the opportunity to live in an island such 
uh, and an island that is so beautiful, just like um, Me. Guam. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed this video that we made for you guys. Um, Guam was our first overseas station away from the mainland. It was her first time being out of California, being out of the States. That's when we were able to go to uh, Philippines. That's when we were able to come to Disneyland. Yep. Because we were so close to both of those places. And Enjoy the video that you guys are about to see. And um, enjoy that sweet island life that we got to experience for three years. Here are a few clips of that. Us willing to share it with you guys. Yep. And there you go. Guam. Experience Guam. Hello! Say hey, Adriel. Adriel, say cheese! Cheese! <laughs> Are you having fun, Adriel? I love Guam! Don't you? Yeah. Not really? Okay, come on, let's go! Let's go! Are you guys excited? Yes! This is going to be so fun! Hey, how you doing? Just chilling on a Saturday night. Hey, Drill. Are you having fun? Yeah. What you do? I'm um, cool. You jump inside. Wow. Hey, mommy. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Adriel, hey what you say? Thank you. Say I love you, Bella. I love you, Bella. Where are you guys going? Nice out here.
my goodness. It's so beautiful. Where? Go, go a little back. That was our video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Keep up for more. Military travel. We'll see you guys next time in our next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye bye.